All right, you guys, today we want to check out how to generate another product shot with the help of stock images. So let's do this. So I'm going to go with this bottle as a reference and I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can download it. Let's unlock the layer and I'm going to bring this up. Go to select subject. If it's not selected correctly, you can go and select the quick selection tool, select plus or minus to add or remove parts. In my situation, I'm going to need to add more. You don't need to refine it to perfection because the AI is going to distort it anyways. After you are done, you can go and click on mask. Now from here, let's go and add a solid color. I'm going to make it green. Click OK, drag it under the bottle. And here we got the green screen bottle. Save it as a JPEG. And now we're going to go to Adobe Firefly. Let's go to the aspect ratio and I'm going to change it to portrait. Content type, select photo, and we're going to upload the reference image, aka the bottle with the green screen. Click on open, click on continue, and let's increase the strength to the reference image all the way to 100%. Scroll down, select hyper realistic, color and tone, warm tone, lighting, select studio light. Now we're going to go to the prompt, type in bottling wall made of charcoal, top view. Let's click on try prompt. So this is what is going to generate you for the first try with the simple prompt. As you can see, the bottle is positioned on top of the charcoal and the charcoal doesn't even have the form of the bottle. So we're going to go to the bottle and I'm going to type in here bottle silhouette generate. The bottle is still sitting on top of the charcoal, but it looks a little bit more fancy. Maybe now let's go to the prompt and I'm going to add bottle silhouette hole. Now this prompt should emphasize that there's a hole inside of the charcoal wall. So let's click on generate and check this out. Now it actually worked. The bottle is actually positioned inside of the charcoal. I mean, at least surrounded with charcoal. And some of these are actually illuminated from the back, but it's kind of inconsistent. So let's try to implement that as well. I got to type in illuminated from the back generate. And now we got some consistent results. It starts to look better and better. I also can change up the characteristics of the charcoal. Maybe I got to go and type in made of smooth charcoal generate. Now, maybe this way is going to generate a different kind of charcoal, but I'm not even sure. Let's do another one. So yeah, some of these results are great. This one is also nice. Okay, so I got to change it to smooth to burning. I also going to add on fire generate. And these are the results. It totally changed up the charcoal. These are like uh, cylindric ones. I mean, these are charcoals that basically you buy from stores. They make it cylindric. Maybe it's too much for the prompts. I'm going to remove the fire prompt and just leave the burning generate. Again, it's going to change up the profile of the charcoal, but I think it still looks really nice. Now that illumination from the back of the bottle, it makes way more sense because the charcoal is burning. And pretty much this is how you generate product shots with stuck images here in Adobe Firefly and Photoshop. Thanks for watching.